Faced with mountain costs to carry out its operations, GWI wants a new system of charging for water usage so it can bring in more revenues. The last amendment to the utility's tariff structure was in 2005. The utility claims that even if it collects all of its revenues, it still would not be able to meet its cost of operation. In a proposal to the PUC which has to approve the new rate structure, GWI said it has become a staple on most tariff for utilities around the world to have a fixed charge built in, given the dramatic fluctuations in the input prices and the need for GWI to maintain and replace the huge amount of fixed assets used in the supply of water. If GWI gets its way under the system of fixed charges, metered domestic customers will no longer be billed on the compulsory minimum consumption of 10 cubic meters of water per month, but rather only on the amount they utilize. GWI is asking for approval of a system of tariffs that allows for a range of costs associated with water usage. The utility wants a sure system by which to categorize customers and to charge differently for those who use treated and non-treated water. In addition, it wants unmetered customers to be billed at a rate that is closer to the costs of their average consumption. Also, GWI wants the introduction of security deposits for new subscribers and customers who would have had their services disconnected for non-payment. GWI said its tariff structure needs to be consolidated due to a number of deficiencies in its existing structure. The utility said that these deficiencies do not encourage economy in the use of water, and neither does it allow for prompt reaction to external changes that affect costs of water production, such as changes in power costs. GWI claims that customers are unaware of the way in which a charge is built up and often do not appreciate or understand costs involved in providing water supply.